Hello and welcome back. So welcome to episode two of wiring up the Firelight ES50X fire alarm control panel. In this episode, we're going to discuss installing the batteries. So let's talk a little bit about the batteries themselves. Let's zoom in a little bit. So these are each 12 volt batteries and the fire alarm control panel requires 24 volt battery backup. So we're gonna combine these two batteries to make it think it's 24 volts. So in order to accomplish this, the fire alarm panel should have come with a wiring harness like this for the batteries. So it has a negative wire, positive wire, and a white wire with two ends. So first let's just start with the negative and positive wire. So the negative wire is gonna go on a negative terminal on one of the batteries. And then the red, the positive wire is going to go on the positive terminal on the other battery. So, first let's get these attached. And then you also see here that there's a white wire, yeah, with two ends on it. And that is going to go on the other positive and negative terminal on these two separate batteries. So yeah, one end's just gonna go on this battery's positive and the other end's gonna go on this battery's negative and that's gonna combine the batteries into two. Make it think it's 24 volts. So yeah, we just need to simply <clears throat> just insert these wires into their terminals. The connectors, I mean. All right, so now we've got the battery side wired up. All right, so now that we have the batteries seated inside the panel, now we're gonna take this end of the harness, this connector end, and it is going to just simply plug in to the connection down here where it says battery. Let's zoom in a bit there. You might not be able to see it terribly well, but yeah, there are a couple of prongs under there where it says battery in which this connector slides right into. So let's just get that real fast. All right, and we have just installed a fire alarm control panel battery or batteries, I guess. And if you are have, if you've been paying attention to the warning lights over here, you notice that battery is no longer lit up, so it's no longer it's no longer having trouble with the battery. So we've cleared up that trouble, so it senses the batteries there. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.